guys, today's video is going to be about our DIY home. It's not going to be about furniture, but I wanted to show you how I painted our concrete patio using just clearance paint and not a whole lot of prep. So let's get to it. had nothing to lose. I felt that our floor could absolutely not look any worse. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it could, but it was pretty dingy. It was nasty. It was gross. I did not like it. Um, I didn't like the painted floor that they did. I don't know if that was a thing that they did back in the day or not. No offense to whoever does that, whoever likes it. It's just not my cup of tea. It's just not my cup of tea. Oh, and just for reference, let me tell you that I painted this on June 10th, 2020. So I will try and post regular updates as I go along in the comments and you can come back and check that later. See me. The first thing that we did was take everything off the patio and pressure wash. This is the only prep work that we did and it, it is extremely important because Paint is not going to adhere well to stuff that is dirty. So if you have any grease stains, you're definitely going to want to use soap or something to remove that grease uh, or abrasive cleaner, floor cleaner, whatever will take off that grease. So we used the pressure washer that we have and that was it. That was all the prep that we did. So now let it dry and wait patiently. Okay guys, today I think might be the day that I actually paint my patio. Today is the perfect day because it's low humidity in Houston and by low I mean like 50. <laughs> For those of you who are not from here, uh, that is low humidity. <laughs> I waited a couple days for it to dry mainly because I got busy with other stuff one day should be plenty but because I waited I went ahead and used the blow dryer to blow off any dust leaves any debris that may have settled on the floor while it was drying full disclaimer I have no idea what I'm doing I have never done this before and I don't know how it's gonna turn out I got this base coat with some clearance. So this one is white. It was a clearance for $24. It's originally $44. So I got that. I got this one at full price because I knew I needed two gallons of primer at least. And then I have this awesome, ah, awesome flat paint from Bear, which is like a really dark gray, almost black. And I got this for $9 because it was a return from a customer. So as you guys know, I like thrifting, I like finding good deals, and I'm gonna make this work. I hope. Don't forget to stir your paint so you don't have any sediment at the bottom and all your color is well incorporated. I'm going to start by cutting in with this solid gray color. So one of my paints was white and the other one is gray. I'm gonna start with the gray. I'm gonna do a second coat so it really doesn't matter. I didn't wanna mix it at this point. Uh, but anywhere where my roller can't reach, I'm going to do with the brush. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and mix up my colors. So I had this black one, this really dark gray that I showed you earlier, and I'm gonna mix some of that in and some of the white and some of the gray. And the idea here is that I'm not going to mix it entirely so that I will get random different variations of colors. Like some parts will have more white, some parts will have more black. So that's the idea. Let's see if it works. I realized that it was a little bit darker than I wanted it to be. I wanted a little bit of a lighter color but not solid gray so I adjusted as I went along and then this is actually the first coat so as long as you get the second coat uniform it should be just fine. You guys I have been wanting to do this project for a very long time but I really thought that I was going to have to grind off the old paint on the patio 
and I'm so thankful that I did it. And what actually made me decide to do it, it's because I noticed that whenever we did work on the patio and paint and stuff will fall onto the floor, I realized that it wasn't coming off. So I was like, okay, well, if this is sticking, then why wouldn't my paint stick? Concrete is really porous, so it will absorb a lot of it and then I don't see why not. I don't see why it wouldn't work. And again, I am not an expert. I am not telling you to go do anything. You do it at your own risk and do your research. Don't you just watch my video. So as I mentioned earlier, I had put a little bit too much dark gray originally. So on my final coat, I'm actually going to mix this tan color. It was left over from our house uh, and I'm not putting a lot of it. So I don't care if it's a different type of paint. I just wanted that warmth that I was lacking from the original color. So again, play with your colors, kind of get an idea of the color palette that you want and then adjust as you go. So this is the second time I am washing or rinsing off the patio just because it does get dirty. Uh, but yeah, I haven't pressure washed yet. We usually pressure wash about three to four times a year, sometimes more often. But if you guys want to know how it's holding up, don't forget to check the description box or leave a comment and ask me. I haven't had many issues with it so far. Just this one that I want to show you. We'll see how it holds up. So here is how our floor is looking. We haven't pressure washed at all. Uh, I've washed it with the hose a couple times and it's held up really well. It's also rained and it's super humid in Texas as you know. So, so far it's so good. It looks really nice with all the plants. I eventually want to replace the swing and replace all of the furniture. But this is what we have for right now. It's working. The only damage that we've seen on the floor is this little bitty one. Hopefully you can see it. And uh, that is from dragging this chair on there. But that's it. It hasn't gotten any bigger. There is nothing else. So that is where we are with the patio. That's it, you guys. It was super easy, very straightforward. And I'm actually kind of mad at myself that I took so long to do it because I've been wanting to do it for a long time. And I was just very intimidated by it. I think once you realize that... Um, it can't look any worse than it does and you have nothing to lose then that's a very freeing feeling and that's why i finally did it so if you do like it and if i helped you don't forget to leave a comment below or tag us on instagram facebook whatever you know all the stuff i will see you next time bye was that you living in someone else's dreams <laughs> <laughs>